Hello beautiful souls, this is Myra with Happy So Happy Life, Namaste. So I wanted to uh, come up and put this video out because I think these emotions that I was talking about yesterday are really coming into surface and there will be triggering <laughs> happening, okay? But just know that these triggers, those emotions that come up, um, may not feel so good and those are probably the ones that we were trying to probably like bury them down deep and not you know cover them with cement and hopefully nothing um they wouldn't appear again but ultimately they do and i think it's around this time so i wanted to um for you guys just to when these emotions come up please feel the emotions right feel them and one thing that you can do sorry i see that hurts you, I think. <laughs> uh, one thing that you can do is when these come up instead of denying it instead of ignoring it instead of not bothering with them you can ask yourself it's like why am i feeling angry you know with this person or with this situation talk to yourself okay once you start talking to yourself, you will find another hidden meaning behind why you are, uh, you know, a deeper meaning, why you are feeling angry, having that resentment, feeling sad. Um, so I encourage you guys to really be like when they rise up, be in your emotions, feel the emotions. That's the only way you can start healing acknowledging them and reflecting in acceptance okay so i pulled out some angel cards and our divine creator wanted to as well uh give us these um, messages okay so for the first one it was angel of vision someone is not revealing part of the story trust your feelings over what others say ultimately like i said you you know any clarity that you are seeking if you're wanting to get it from somebody else maybe they're not ready um and you just have to feel trust your inner guidance which is your heart center right and in times with these emotions rise up you know it really triggers you because these are emotions that you really didn't want to talk about or you didn't really want to face them and could be because you really got hurt and you know they were something traumatic and you just don't want to um, you know I would say make you know play it over again um, make the mistake over again but what i'm seeing and hearing is that you won't make the same mistake again you have evolved you have grown and it's you weren't in that you're not in the same place that you were before you know your perspective your mentality um your conscious is it's totally different so when these arise, you know, feel the emotions. I believe that they said that this is kind of like shadow work. They're like, oh. <laughs> but, you know, feel them out and ask yourself because you are the one that's going to get your clarity, right? And we sometimes want to point out like, but he makes me feel so bad. <laughs> but know that it's a they're a mirror of your reflection. So if they're triggering something out of you, it's because it's something that needs to be healed. It's coming up to be healed, okay? Goddess of beauty, you are wondrous being of light. There's nothing to change or fix. 
So this was one of the messages from our divine creator. You are wondrous being of light. There's nothing to change or fix. Just remember that. You know, we have to honor ourselves, honor our worth, our integrity, and know if others did not see that light within us and they didn't see the beauty within us, they didn't see the worth, between, you know, in us, then that was their problem. You know, at times you have to see why they're not in your in your life at this moment or you know if things didn't work out that's when you really have to see maybe they didn't know your worth you don't need somebody that will be draining you and dragging you and putting you into doubt and it's like an epiphany right now <laughs> you know because god our creator you know, our divine source, he doesn't give us a world, a life that is heartache and pain. We do that ourselves. <laughs> we stick with people that are not, um, you know, that they don't resonate with us, that are not good to our our souls are not good to our minds, are not good to our bodies. And we resist the change because of our egoistic um, mindset, right? That we want that person because we want them. But know that, you know, if they didn't see your worth, your value, your beauty, then there was a reason. God is of oneness. Someone you love is thinking fondly of you at the moment. And you have to know that you are special. You have to know that you are cared for and you are loved and you are cherished. But you ultimately have to know that from yourself. You know, this, when I did my spiritual journey, um, my self-worth and my self-value and my self-love was, uh, it was like in the garbage or it was already in the dumpster. <laughs> and, you know, our divine source comes at perfect time. It's divine timing. And this journey has helped me so much. And my incredible, you know, my motivation, uh, my encouragement is to be the best version of myself. You know, like that, as within and so without. As I see how I feel within, so balance, you know, value and all that, I can see the beauty among other things as well. The other message from our creator is stand up for what you believe. You will gain respect by holding your ground. And is not keeping things, not hiding your truth, not hiding your voice. You know, if something is coming up to the surface, say it's a person and you're like, Oh, what do I do now? No, it's like, no, you keep focus. You keep focus on your, on your dream. You keep focus on your goal. You keep focus on being the best version of yourself. But how is, no, no. You know, I had to ask myself true, true, see, the truth comes out. <laughs> I have to ask myself, Two, that do I want a person that is not healed? And of course, no. Why? Because it would be a, the same patterns that have to play out, the same lessons that have to be played out. Uh, uh, 
I'm I'm not and I won't. You know, divine timing when it when it's divine timing and it's right, it's right. I can't control it. But all I know that I have to ask myself if my egoistic mind is saying, well, you know, you have to make changes for, you know, a certain place, person, situation, or thing. You have to say, mm, are they healed? Are they, are they putting action to it? What does your, what, the, what does my soul, my inner guidance tells me? And my inner guidance tells me, move forward, keep moving ahead. It, when it will come, it will come and just stay focused. Stay on your high vibe <laughs> and do what you do best. And that is just being out here, giving this beautiful information and staying positive, you know, and that's all we can do. And I saw 1111 right now. Yay! <laughs> you know, and not have any resentment for that person. Because you don't know, you know, we're not in their shoes. And that's how you have to see it. You know, every path is very different. You know, and that's what sometimes you have to get back grounded and know that, you know, every path is different. And their situations are very different as well. So... The other message that our creator wanted to give to us is honor and give thanks for the blessings you are about to receive. And I see a lot of yellow. I see a lot of yellow in these cards. Ooh. Green and yellow, but you know. And then even yellow here, a little bit of yellow here, but green. And always be grateful for where you are right now. And, you know, giving gratitude is always of, you know, giving yourself a high vibration. Being in that high vibe. And know that everything will be okay. So that's the messages that I have, you guys. And I wish you guys a great and blessed day. Namaste.